Hey everyone, so this is a little bit of an impromptu video. I'm driving to Trader Joe's and we turn the air down so it's not too loud. Um, basically just wanted to make a video, had some things on my mind, wanted to update you all on the new happenings in my life. Uh, I believe the last video I posted, I was just kind of like reflecting on my psychedelic experiences and um, man, I just feel like I've finally gotten to the point where I've come full circle in my healing journey. And that might sound a little suspicious, like, you know, it's, it's a healing journey, it's not a destination. A lot of people would argue that it's something you never fully arrive at. And I do agree with that. Um, I do think it's gonna always be a never ending journey, but I feel like I've finally been able to connect the dots. And psychedelics have played a huge part in that for me. Just reflecting on my journey to get to where I am now, just dealing with so much trauma and not knowing what to do with it. Just feeling like it was just sitting there on top of me. Um, and causing so many blockages to going where I wanted to go. I just felt like there was the true me was down in there somewhere and I just couldn't get to her. I just had to like dust off all of this stuff from the past that I've been holding on to that was not serving me in a way that I knew that it wasn't. But for some reason I had adopted these things and held on to them from my childhood and realizing like <clears throat> what it's like to be the scapegoat as a child. Realizing what it's like to live in a emotionally invalidating environment as a child, um, to live with parents who are not emotionally mature themselves, who have a lot of healing and a lot of work to do on themselves, and so they kind of put you as a child as a buffer in between them and the reality and the truth about themselves that they don't want to deal with, and kind of taking those things and absorbing it as my identity. And I'm someone who's lived my whole life feeling like I was different, feeling like I didn't belong, feeling like something was wrong or off about me. And I just thought that was just who I was at my core. Like I was born in an off body. I was just, this is just who I am at my core, my essence. I'm just weird. I don't belong. I don't fit in with anybody else. And the way that people have treated me my whole life, I deserved it. Um, they were just responding to me you know, especially my family, and realizing now, like, oh no, that's not who I was, that was just the persona that I adopted based off of the experiences that I had in childhood, how my mother saw me, and um, how the role that I fit in for people as a way, or as an outlet for people to kind of just take out their own dissatisfaction and unhappiness out on me. Um, because they didn't know how to deal with it themselves. And kind of taking a step back now and realizing like what that's been. It's, that's what it's been this whole time. That's not who I am. And that I'm actually a very like divinely connected human being. And I have just, just as much power, just as much worth and value as anybody else in this world. And my capabilities and my potential is unlimited and how good that feels to finally be free and to realize like oh like these things that I imagined for myself the life where I saw myself as being empowered and being able to design and create my life I thought it was just a fantasy that I would escape to to try to avoid the current reality that I wasn't able to accept about myself but realizing like no that's the true essence of who I am and I can go out here and I can create something totally different. I can create a totally new life. I can interact with life in a totally different way. And that identity of that person who I thought I was for all this time was just a false self that I had adapted to cope with my external environment. And that external environment no longer exists. That was the conditions of my childhood. And that was how I had to survive. That's how I had to like conform and mold myself to be back then. But I don't have to do that anymore. I can take the power back and say like, I didn't like the way you treated me. I 
always knew something was off about my relationship with you, but I thought because you were family that I was tripping. You would even kind of insinuate that I was tripping when I would ever bring a concern or a hurt to you. You would make it seem like it would somehow it would get flipped back on me. Like, oh no, that's just you. That's something that you do. And I would be just very, I've always been a very introspective person and I would always go inside and ruminate on like, okay, like this must be my fault. I must have done something. I must be this terrible person that's just causing this pain. And it, that would always be my first instinct. You know, I would bring, somebody would cross a boundary of mine or do something that violated me. And by the end, and I would bring it up to somebody and by the end of the conversation, I'm apologizing. <laughs> like, why am I apologizing? And never once, and I realize I'm constantly apologizing apologizing to people. I'm sorry that I did this. I'm sorry that I said that. Always worried and concerned that I've done something really bad. And then I start to realize like nobody else is ever apologizing back. Nobody else is taking ownership or acknowledging their part of things. I know I didn't create this by myself. And as I start to do the work and do the work and, you know, read and educate myself and learn more about myself, I can take a step back and realize like, oh yeah, that was never about me to begin with. I take my apology back you know I'm taking my power back I don't apologize for who I am anymore I don't apologize for my feelings if you did something that hurt me I have every right to express it and if you don't want to take accountability for it or you don't want to hear it then I have a choice in that moment of whether or not I want to continue a relationship with you and I'm no by no means obligated to maintain relationships with anybody who does not respect me who does not value our relationship enough to do the hard work on themselves as well so I finally feel like I'm getting to a place where things click and I'm really excited about it um, and I want this for everybody and that's really why I made this channel is because I knew I was on this journey it was confusing sometimes I didn't know if I was taking the right path or if I was crazy I thought like oh you know I'm so far out here doing you know psychedelics and whatnot um, just felt very strange and alienated from just like the general population because it was just so unconventional but I really want this for everybody and I want to share more details of how this process has gone for me and the work that I really had to do and it's kind of fitting that today's my birthday um, 33 years old double digits and also, I've heard like when you get around your early 30s, you know, 30, between 30 and 33, you go through your um, Saturn return where everything comes full circle for you and your childhood starts to make sense. And sometimes when I would say like, oh, I'm healed, I figured it out, I feel like I was forcing it. Um, but I can really say that I feel like I've turned a new corner and turned over a new leaf. And I'm planning to actually go to an ayahuasca ceremony some, maybe sometime in January or February of next year just to see what's there. Like, I see it as like a fine-tuning maintenance on a, the vehicle that I call my body or myself just to see what comes up and to see what's there. But I'm still always learning and growing. And I just wanted to share this message because I was just feeling really inspired. And so... Yeah, so let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will connect with you in the next video.